Here at TD Bank Ballpark, Stephen Cusimano joined alongside the Yankees 2023 ninth round pick Jared Wagner here with the Somerset Patriots. And Jared, first and foremost, it's been great having you here in Somerset to start the season and uh, it's been fun to watch you. How would you evaluate your play to start the year? Yeah, I think I've, I've played pretty well here. Um, you know, I've been here for about five weeks now and, and kind of gotten accustomed to uh, double A pitching and uh, just the guys in the, in the clubhouse feel like I've, I've done pretty well so far. And it's unbelievable to think. I mean, you were pretty much still playing college ball this time last year, and the Yankees are pushing you pretty aggressively straight up to double A after about 25, 40 games last year. What does that say about the confidence they have in you? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, you look at age, whatever. Um, but also, I think my ability to hit the ball hard, um, you know, looking to be more consistent. But I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Glad they, they wanted me up in double A. So. Well, you mentioned consistent. I mean, we saw you go on a 13-game hit streak earlier, and that was the longest in the league by any player. Uh, what does that say to your consistency and not just being able to be a guy that's going to crush the ball but also do it consistently? Yeah, I think uh, it comes down to just simplifying it for me. Um, you know, you want to be more more consistent. I think everybody would agree with that. That's that's part of the game. Um, just, yeah, just uh, taking taking it easy, um, being easy at the play, that's, that's the big thing. So. And you definitely did put a lot of people on notice with your first double-A home run, 116 miles per hour, but then you outdid yourself two homers later, almost 117 miles per hour. Have you always hit the ball hard? Is that something that you, it's kind of always been part of your, your toolkit or what, what's the deal with that? Yeah, I think uh, I've always been a guy that's hit the ball hard. Um, I think it, it comes down to the off season training that I've, I've had um, this last off season and then all the off seasons I've had throughout college. Um, taking that serious, getting in the weight room, um, you know, moving, moving weight fast, just trying to become an explosive athlete, and I, th I think it's showing. And we mentioned the, the Yankees moving you pretty quickly through the minor leagues, but you were a five-year starter in college, four years at Creighton, the last one at Arkansas. So obviously a lot more at-bats than a typical college-age draft pick coming up. How much do you think that that has kind of seasoned you for a quick promotion up here to double-A to start the year? Yeah, I think that's huge. You know, anytime you can get a lot of at-bats, whether that's in, you know, in your college career and in, in pro ball like we do, it, it, you should be able to – to uh, get better every, every at bat and you know having that mentality is uh, a big deal so and four years at Creighton so we're actually playing against the New Hampshire Fisher Cats this week and one of your college teammates was Alan Roden I know you have a pretty good relationship with him talk to me a little bit about that yeah he's he's a really good dude played with him for four years at Creighton um, he's a tremendous player he got really good eye at the dish and he just seems to barrel up everything uh, you know I went and got breakfast with him this morning kind of or I guess yesterday morning but uh He's, he's a good dude. It's fun uh, getting a chance to play guys that you, you've played uh, with or, or against, um, even that. So that, that's pretty cool. And I guess the last thing here, just again, thinking about the fact you were in college a year ago, you've got about a year under your belt with the Yankee system. Who are some of the coaches, maybe players, that you've been able to, to learn from and just kind of sharpen yourself with over the course of this last year? Yeah, I think uh, coaching-wise, Fio's done a great job with defense. I feel like my defensive play has gotten a lot better. Um, been, I worked with Kevin and, at high A last year, and then he all came to double A this year. So um, shout out to him. He's done a great job uh, getting me feel, feeling confident. And then player-wise, I think Spencer Jones is kind of one of the guys I look up to. Uh, we're, we're good friends. He's he's a heck of a ball player. There's no doubt about that. But it's uh, it's cool, kind of just learning from from all the guys at the different levels to to kind of sharpen your game. So. All right, Jerry. Thank you so much, and uh, best of luck with the remainder of the season. Yep. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.